Hello. Today we will look into backtracking. To understand, we go and first look into an example. Suppose there are three family members, grandmom, father and son. They visit some place, some photographer to take their family photo and there are three seats. What are the possible sitting arrangements we can use to let them sit? Well, to find all possible sitting arrangement, grandmom comes. She sits on the first chair. For the second chair, father comes and he sits. For the third chair, son. There could be the possibility that on the second chair, son can sit. There could be the possibility that on the first chair, father comes and he sits. Then grandmom on the second chair, son on the third chair. There could be also the possibility on the second chair instead of grandmom, son comes and he sit. There could be also the case that on the first chair, son can sit instead of grandmom or father. On the second chair, there could be the possibility on the second chair instead of grandmom, father comes and he sit there. Father sit on the second chair, grandmom on the last chair. Here you can see we have found all possible sitting arrangement which are six we'll find how to present this in a tree well to find all possible sitting arrangement we will divide this problem into discrete solvable small problems we will say that what if we have only one chair what if we have only two chairs what if we have three chairs so what will be the number of possible solution in that case We'll go with only one chair. What if we have only one chair? In that case, for sure, grandmom can sit, or father can sit, or son can sit. So we got actually our old solution because we are on the leaf node. We have only one chair, we got our old solution. So what if we add another chair? Then in this path where grandmom is already sitting on the first chair, what will be the other possible solution? For sure, father can sit on the second chair or son can sit on the second chair. Mm -hmm. So we got our and other solutions, two solutions when we have two chairs. So whenever we will come to the leaf node, we found our solution. In this path, where on the first chair father was sitting, on the second chair grandmom can sit or son can sit. We found our another two solutions. In the third case, where son was sitting on the first chair, on the second chair grandmom can sit or father can sit. So for the particular available spaces, we found their all possible state. This is called state space tree. So on each level, on each level of the spaces, we found their respective number of solutions. When we have one, we have three solutions. When we have two, we have six solutions. Now, what if we add the third chair? In that case, uh, if we follow this path, we are on the first chair, grandmom is already sitting. In this path, father was sitting on the second chair. On the third chair, we have the solution that son is sitting there. Or we can say on the second chair, son was sitting, then on the third chair, father can sit. So on this particle space, on this particle level, we found all possible solutions till now. In this path, when father was sitting on the first chair, and grandmom was sitting on the second. On the third chair, son can sit. And in this, grandmom can sit in this path. In this path, where son is sitting on the first, grandmom on the second, father will be on the third. And here, grandmom will be on the third. So see, on each level, we found their number of solutions. When we have two chairs, we found six solutions. When we have three chairs, we have also six possible solutions for that. Now where the backtracking helps us? Suppose 
son make a desire that he want to take a photograph that he want to be in the middle of grandmom and father so what will be the possible solution in that case so if we will see just in the picture so possible solution will be when son was sitting in the middle so this is the one solution this is the one solution when son was sitting in the middle chair so how it happens how the backtracking helps us so this is the way first we use depth first search we come here in the first seat grandma was sitting okay we go further we find father was sitting this is not the path we should we shouldn't go further so backtracking let us go back to track so it says um you don't need to traverse further so we are going for selective tree traversal we get back we go for the next path son was sitting okay we go at the end father was sitting this is correct so it means that we found our one solution then because we are on the leaf node we go back from here and again from the here now in that case we go for the second tree their father was on the first seat this is correct we go there grandmom in the middle it shouldn't be we go back so backtracking is not letting us go further so we are saving so we go to the next path son in the middle this is correct we go further grandmom at the end all right so we found another solution so we go back from here so we go back from here then we take this last path there son was sitting we go for the next grandmom was sitting there and it is not the correct path we go back and even here so we go back with the, the path where we go to the leaf node while traversing and considering the condition that condition was son want to be in middle so while making some decision this condition was taken care by backtracking so it says when we are going for any path this particle condition was considered and we never go further in that tree and then we found these two solutions whenever we come to the leaf node we get the solution i suppose if we want to find all number of nodes so how we can find that? It's pretty simple you'll say one for the root node which is this one and uh, we say available spaces which is zero from spaces minus one taking the product number of family members minus i which is going from zero to available spaces now in the case when we were talking about that we have only one chair in that case one plus three minus zero because one minus one zero so we get four number of nodes if we talk about two chairs so in that case we have two spaces one plus three minus zero for first iteration plus for the second iteration three minus zero product of three minus two and we get one plus three plus six which is ten if we go for the third level in that case one plus three minus o plus for second three minus o three minus two plus three minus o three minus two and three minus one so we will get one plus three plus six plus six which is equal to 16. so we have 16 total nodes so what is backtracking it is uh, i would say it is sort of refined brute force it goes for each and every path and try to find the possible solution and it is uh, selective graph traversal because we have to look into the particle condition if it is satisfying it no and we are implementing in dfs so what we get as a summary that it is selective graph traversal second there are some condition for that particle condition we have to choose uh, we also get dfs so whenever in any problem there are some number of set available some collection provided and in that collection 
you have to make some arrangement or you have to make some collection like making some subset or something for with some particular condition with some provided condition so in that case we normally use backtracking so there are so many problems that we normally use with the backtracking that is a permutation uh, Sudoku and pathfinding when there's a maze and mouse want to go and find back get back to home there's eight queens problem some subset and graph coloring you'll see these problem one by one thanks